Is it just us, or does China seem to be getting really futuristic? The country is developing what's called a car-free city and plans to construct thousands of car-free lifestyle malls that will encourage you to walk, run, or bike. Welcome back to Genesis. In today's video, let's take a look at what China has for us in its $1.2 billion car-free city. Before we proceed, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell for regular updates. The architecture industry is searching for novel ways to implement sustainable solutions and guarantee that cities won't be livable in the future as the environment struggles with the effects of climate change. Among countries as such, China has seen some of the worst traffic congestion in the entire globe as a result of its rapid economic and urban growth. However, a recent project in one city gives a taste of what a world without cars would entail. Cities are often in the midst of change, but some are able to thrive despite the effects of political policies and economic uncertainty. If a city wants to thrive and lead its economic marketplaces, it must have sustainable strategies for its future. If cities want to succeed, they must plan ahead so that they can keep up with current trends and conditions in their region and around the world. China's Net City is a $1.2 billion investment in the future of urban design and sustainability. The project will see a new city built with the aim of reducing carbon emissions by 25%. In 10 years, employees of Tencent will move into a 320-acre facility and commute by rail. The plans, which include a network of 4G-connected smart highways, are a creation of the city's founder, Shenzhen Mayor Luo Zhangdong. The design reflects the Chinese government's goal to develop a fully automated urban environment. The government has already created thousands of miles of pedestrian pathways and is opening new highways that will allow cars to bypass the congestion in environmentally conscious cities like Shenzhen. The city has the potential to redefine living standards for individuals, businesses, and governments. This new smart city showcases innovative technology and smart materials, as well as advanced design solutions. NBBJ will help create a complete plan for the development of this massive new city. Net City is also a futuristic office building designed to be the engine room for China's internet revolution. It offers incredible views and amenities that are sure to impress any visitor. Offering a modern living experience while also contributing towards China's green building culture, Net City is sure to leave an impression on any visitor who enters its doors. It's set to be the most futuristic corporate city that is home to over 20,000 people. It will be a large, three-square-mile development filled with state-of-the-art office spaces and feature various amenities for its employees like schools, retail spaces, and more. According to the NBBJ, the designs will collect water on the campus by controlling runoff and flooding and meet the requirements of China's Sponge City Plan. The ultimate objective is to make this car-free city significantly greener than other cities as well as contribute to the fight against global warming by fostering a circular economy by reducing waste in terms of resources and energy. The structures also will have rooftops covered with greenery. A similar project is being worked on in Toronto by Sidewalk Labs, the urban innovation division of Google's parent company, Alphabet. Before abandoning plans in early May because of economic uncertainty, the company was building a $900 million internet-connected metropolis with driverless cars, heated walkways, and sensors, according to business insider's Hugh Langley. Such significant advancements around the world have been threatened by the coronavirus pandemic and the ensuing economic crisis. But as cities try to enhance their economies, and as land sits at relatively lower prices, we might see an increase in demand for master-planned cities. The Net City's natural landform will be continued by the International Education Park, which will have terraces with landscaping. A valley that forms the campus's center will house a famous complex building. The 80,000 square meter structure will include a university library, a student center, auditoriums, laboratories, and offices, and will serve as the center of academic activity. In the Dashan Wan port area of Shenzhen, 200 hectares of office, commercial, retail, and residential space will be built as part of the Net City project. A report from the South China Morning Post claims that there will be room for schools, parks, and recreational facilities, but not for automobiles. The first campus of Tencent, a tech giant that has its own artificial intelligence chip and which has been in the news lately for its acquisition of WhatsApp, Net City is spread over four hectares and has 10 interconnected buildings with entrances at every level, including the ground floor and rooftop. Rainwater will be collected and reused. Solar panels will be installed on structures. 
Mangroves will be used to build flood defense barriers along the beach, and ice robots will provide cooling services during the hottest days. Internet-connected sensors will be employed because this is a high-tech development to monitor flooding and other environmental issues. This project aims to explore the possibilities of a new kind of urban environment where transportation needs are met by alternative forms of energy and mobility. It aims to create a contemporary, sustainable city that integrates nature and humanity using green building materials and organic shapes. The design will integrate several innovations that allow it to work with little or no electricity, zero internal roads, and no parking lots. It functions as an experimental ecological model for the design of future cities and is planned to be an educational center for local students. The goal of this project is to offer an alternative to the standard master plan, which is built around the established car-oriented road system. The interaction of the city's architecture and surroundings will produce a dynamic learning environment that will stimulate original thought. Do you think a car-free city is practicable in today's world? Let us know in the comments section below. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.